Texas began its 87th legislative session today. This, as early voting continues for the Texas House District 68 seat, we continue our look at who is hoping to earn your vote to get to Austin. PJ Green joins us now with a spotlight on two more running for that vacant seat. That's right, guys. Today we have the two B's, Brinkley and Barry. Jason Brinkley, who was in his second term as Cook County Judge before he decided to run, and John Barry, a financial planner from Jacksboro. Jason Brinkley stepped down from his second term as Cook County Judge with hopes of being the representative of District 68. I really think that there's a lack of knowledge on how local government works at the state level. Uh, and so having somebody that has that experience that can bring that to the table. Aside from being county judge, Brinkley has also been Cook County Justice of the Peace and has served as the president of the Texoma Council of Governments and has also served on other committees. Along with fighting for rural broadband access, Brinkley says redistricting will be a concern for whoever takes the seat. There's going to be a bigger push to eliminate a rural seat because the population is simply not there. Rural Texas is is really struggling and if we want to keep our our younger families here we're going to have to find ways to offer some of the same services that 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 you see in some of the uh, urban areas along with brinkley is jacksboro native and financial planner john barry barry has also served as jack county commissioner our voice is going to be lost and we've got to make sure they understand that what works for some of these larger urban counties doesn't necessarily work so well for these smaller rural counties and that we have a limited base with which to work from. Barry says that his background as a financial planner helps him be a better candidate. He says he can make tax dollars work for residents of District 68 while protecting the agricultural industry. We need to make sure that we protect ag exemption because the margins are so slim on ag industries that a little tax could significantly hurt them. So we've got to work to protect that exemption. With the 87th legislation already in session, both men say they are ready to be voted in to be a voice for rural Texas. To, to bring that voice, having, having represented a rural county for the past 12 years, bringing that voice to Austin, I think, is, is imperative. I'm not looking to write laws to just put more laws on the books. What we need to look at is what regulations and the impact that regulations have on individuals from a business standpoint and from an individual voter standpoint. Now there are five candidates in this race. The lone Democratic candidate, Charles Gregory, declined an interview. Now for more information on all five candidates, find your election headquarters on TexomasHomePage.com. Okay, PJ, thank you very much. Now as a reminder, House District 68 includes Childress, Hardiman, Haskell, Jack, Montague, Throckmorton, Will Barger, and Young Counties. In Young County, you can vote at North Central Texas College and Olney Community Library from 8 to 5 on weekdays. And residents in Will Barger County can vote from 8 to 5 at Will Barger County Auditorium. 